Hi, folks. Max from RootGalaxyNote.com for this week's uh, Note 10.1 ROM of the week. Uh, check out Pac-Man ROM. This was actually ported from a uh, Note 2. Let me go ahead and show you here. Um, it is a little bit laggy right now. Uh, Android 4.2.2. It comes with uh, the latest AOK PMR1 Milestone 1, which is the latest stable version. It also is built off the CM 10.1 Nightlies. And also it has Paranoid Android uh, 3.60. This ROM is great if you want to experience uh, all of those three ROMs without installing individually. Uh, then you can get all of the features from all of those ROMs in just one ROM. Uh, let me go ahead and show you uh, some of the stuff you can do. Pack and block. This makes everything black. Um, should save you a little bit more battery life because uh, the AMOLED screen on the Samsung devices uh, when you have all black, it's supposed to save you a little bit battery life because uh, the LEDs will actually turn off. Um, so inside this ROM, you will find full hybrid properties, uh, you know, paranoid, para paranoid Android hybrid properties. So you can run your tablet and phone or tablet mode uh, or phablet mode, sorry. And I'm in the regular tablet mode. Now, let's say I want to switch to tab phablet UI. Go ahead and apply, and boom, it will just change to uh, my phablet mode where the notifications uh, are on the left top and also your settings up on the right. Um, so kind of nice, fun to play, and also, of course, if you swipe to the left and go to apps, you can run your favorite apps uh, in phone or tablet mode or change it to your custom uh, DPI. I have a full tutorial guide on this, so I'm not going to go over it. I'll have a link to it on my site. You can check that out. Uh, other than that, you get full ROM control from AOK PMR1 Milestone 1, the full uh, ROM control where you can, you know, enable stuff like hardware back to kill, enable kill all button, recent RAM bar. Um, so when I enable those, you'll see the recent RAM bar. I've got the kill all button down here uh, and more stuff you can do. I also have a full tutorial guide on that. Um, stuff like I can make uh, shortcuts with the navigation ring um, so I can kill apps, uh, go to Twitter or whatever. Uh, that's really cool. Now, all of that you can do with AOKP ROM control. I have a full tutorial guide on that again. Go check that out video. You'll learn a ton of things, what you can do. Um, so that is really cool. And if you go to system here, uh, you'll be able to enable Pi controls here. Uh, you can enable Pi controls and also Halo settings. It does come with Halo notification settings. Now, to get this working, uh, you'll have to change to the phablet mode that I'm on right now because with the regular tablet mode, the icon will not uh, show up. So let's say I've got a message. I've got the halo here uh, and you can double tap it to move it to different places. If you pull it down, it's going to disappear on you. I'll hit it again and, and you can go ahead and uh, if you swipe up, it'll get rid of it, but I'm not going to get rid of it. Uh, let's say I'm browsing the web. This is just like the uh, chat heads for Facebook. Uh, and I, I've got a message on Facebook here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it. And it will show over inlay without interrupting whatever you were doing before. Um, oh. All right. So that is nice. So you can kind of uh, play with that and get all of your notifications. And also you can, if, if there's a certain app you don't want to show up in there, you can go to settings uh, apps here. You should be able to disable it. Let's say I don't want my Facebook uh, stuff here uh, showing up on my Halo. You can blacklist it. So it will, you can control which apps actually show up on the notifications. Now, if there's an app you want to show here, but it doesn't use notifications and you want to use it as an overlay, such as Google Maps or something, or maybe the browser, open this Halo uh, app here. Go ahead and hit the pin button. Uh, let's say I want browser, just uh, stick with uh, that. And go ahead and start. What this will do is always keep the browser there. So let's say you want, you're want you on browser and you want to put browser on browser, um, then you can do that. So you got browser on browser. Uh, or maybe you're on Facebook and you want to access your Facebook. Oops, let me try to exit out of this. Um, I think that's a slight bug. It's showing in. There may be bugs uh, such as that one because this isn't like 100%. Uh, but it is pretty stable. There you go. 
I got it working now. So I've got Facebook with the, the browser, and you can see that you know everything working in the background. Like if you play games in open browser, it will stay up there. Now you can't get rid of this, but you can get rid of all the other notifications. So very interesting to play with. Again, if you want to enable this, make sure you enable uh, the phablet mode. Switch to phablet mode. Other than that, it's a full AOS PROM, and also for camera. Uh, let's check out the camera here. And this is the Photosphere camera. Um, so you get HDR mode. Uh, oh, no Photosphere, sorry. Um, but you can grab the Android 4.3 camera off high on Android.com. Uh, install Titanium Backup app. Uninstall the existing gallery and try to install that APK. You should have 4.3 Photosphere camera on it too, uh, which is nice. Also, do check it out if you're looking for a good AOSP ROM. And uh, I've actually got an AOSP ROM running on one of my Note 10.1s because I prefer it when I use uh, tech videos. Right now, I'm actually using one of my Note 10.1s to uh, use as a DSLR a controller viewfinder. And AOSP ROMs just work so much better because they drain the battery less when I have the USB OTGN. Now, that's why I use AOSP for that particular applications. Uh, but you know, Touch is great too uh, if you want to do stuff like share your videos, uh, stream it to your HDTV, um, stuff like that. So they each have advantages. Now this is another great choice and this is available. You can install it on any uh, 80XX model. So A010, A013, uh, all of the Wi-Fi models and all, all the, the 3G models, 8000 and 8000. Um, so a lot of cool stuff. Of course, the phone's not going to work unless you have the GTN 8000 uh, 3G model. Uh, but you know, you can just get rid of it if you don't want want that icon. Uh, so check it out for this week's ROM of the week for the Note 10.1 Pac-Man. Certainly a great ROM. Now you know you can get the one of the latest versions running on your Note 10.1. A ton of options. You know, the hybrid properties is great for a tablet because sometimes you want to adjust how big the app looks. You can adjust exactly how you want it. Uh, the full ROM control, you can just adjust a whole bunch of stuff. Um, yeah, pretty good ROM. Check it out for this week's ROM of the week and do let me know what you think. And as always, if you have a Note 10.1, uh, don't forget to sign up for my email list at rootgalaxynote.com. We update you once a week with ROM of the week, tips, hacks, and more. And also, if you're on YouTube, please hit that like button from here. Subscribe button down there. And I'll see you guys soon. Uh, stay high on Android.